Hi there, it's Joey John McGuire again. I'm in the uh, Oyster Rooms, my favourite pub, Fulham Broadway, uh, Lloyd's Bar, Weatherspoon's pub. Um, that to recite my favourite poem, uh, Lady in the Hat, which is especially for a young lady, very beautiful young lady, uh, who I see some mornings, have done for about five years, uh, in my local Sainsbury's. And it's called Lady in the Hat. I'll try to explain. It's that moment of discovery when a child first holds a butterfly, learns the meaning of the words be delicate. The look I gave my mother that told her I loved her too much and how she'd hated it. I was only five. Experienced my first taste of rejection. She'd worn white polka dot on navy, crisp, distinctive perfection through my besotted eyes. Let me explain. It was like the beauty of the world when occasionally it peeps above the horizon and you the lucky witness as it winks. The quiver at your knees, blotched, blushing cheeks when you set eyes upon your Venus, the most beautiful creature in the world. You. And that was five years ago. I am a shy man. Embarrassment gags me with a threat, leaving me speechless in an instant. So five long years have passed, summoning up the courage to ask your name. You said Caroline. And there was an uncomfortable pause while my bemused brain tried to register. Remember what I had just been told. For you are the lady in the hat now with the name, and I now look forward to our chance meetings, always on the same corner, however rushed and hurried. Let me explain further. It's the million ways I've thought to ask for your pleasure. For lunch, of course. What did you think I meant? Only to stammer, babble on about the weather, and I curse myself, wonder if one so beautiful would contemplate a yes answer to someone such as I. Let me explain further. I write you a poem that says just that. My toes curl as I cringe while you read the words created in my heart, when all is laid bare and revealed to my lady in the hat. I remember my mother's rejection, hang my head sheepishly, fingers crossed behind me, waiting for your smile, especially for Caroline.